Mitch, let's begin with Governor Cooper's statement on the assault weapons ban. Within a day of the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, uh, Governor Cooper released a professionally produced video that basically uh, had a couple of messages. One was for Congress, calling for a requirement of universal background checks for guns and also a return of the national ban on assault weapons. He also called on Republicans in the state legislature to deal with some gun reform issues that Democrats have proposed uh, at the state level. Basically, he was very conspicuous in this and calling on Republicans to move toward uh, the Democratic position on these issues, even signaling near the end of the video that if Republicans refuse to go along with the measures that he wants, that people in North Carolina should elect new leaders. So it gives you a sense that this is uh, more than just a message about does that he school see that shooting. As a issue? Oh, I, I, I am assuming that he certainly does. Uh, it's a stark contrast, of course, to what happened with uh, Republican Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, who after the school shooting then ended up speaking at the NRA convention, unlike some other uh, Republican officials who backed away from the NRA. And after uh, Lieutenant Governor Robinson spoke at that convention and made some statements about the, the use and the importance of having guns, Governor Cooper came out and said that, uh, that those statements shamed and disgraced North Carolina. So this is certainly going to be an interesting issue.